to welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number five from the February March 2020 International A Level. This is the Cambridge Paper 19709. This question here is about trig identities and equations. So we're given this trig equation that we have to solve, and it looks a bit strange, but of course. It's going to be easy, don't worry. So tan theta plus 3 sine theta plus 2 all over. And you have tan theta minus 3 sine theta plus 1 equals 2. So we have to try to re re rewrite this in a way that's easy for us to solve. Okay, and one of the ways to do that is to make everything into one trig ratio. That's one way that could happen. Um, but right now, there's not much we can do. Um, unless we could make this as sine theta over cosine theta. But what I'll do first to make life, I think, a lot easier would be to just get rid of the fraction. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator, in which case it will cancel from this side and I'll end up multiplying the two. So I'll end up with tan theta plus 3 sine theta plus 2 equals 2 times whatever's in this denominator, which is tan theta minus 3 sine theta plus 1. Okay, it's always good to write this step down because sometimes you forget to multiply every term by that too and then you get messed up. So it's, even though it takes a bit of time, it's important for you to not make silly mistakes. So this is one way of making sure you don't do that because sometimes, you know, that's when you miss certain steps, it does tend to lead to missing out certain things which are important. So like 2 times tan theta and 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6 sine theta and 2 times 1, which is plus 2. So I multiplied every term by 2. Now, what I'm going to do is, I can see that you have like terms. So what I'm going to do is, as um, I think I will, because everything will be positive on this side. So if I basically um, leave nothing on this side, so I'm going to subtract tan theta from both sides. This gives me 1 tan theta over here. I'm going to subtract 3 sine theta from both sides. That gives me minus 9 sine theta over here. And I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, so that gives me 0 over there. So now I've got something that looks um, a bit more friendly for us to try to solve. But again, we're going to try to solve it. Um, and what I can do is I'm going to use one of the two important identities that we should know. Now, the two identities we should know, firstly, are sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And the other one is that the tan of theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. These are the two really important identities we should know. Okay, and all other identities we learn later on for when we go into A2 kind of material, which is P3. Um, all of those identities are based on th upon these two. Everything else is based upon these two, the reciprocal trig identities, whatever, which we come to later. Now, this means that if you take an angle and you find the sine of the angle and you square it, and you take the cosine of that same angle and square that value, you add them together, you always get one. Okay, so the sine of an angle and then squared plus the cosine of the angle and then squared added together gives you one. It doesn't mean that sine theta plus cosine theta equals one. That's wrong. It has to be squared. Very, very important. And also that the tangent of any angle is equal to the sine of that same angle divided by the cosine of that same angle. And that's what we're going to use now. I'm going to replace tan theta by sine theta over cosine theta. And that's minus sine theta. And I can see what's going to happen now. If I multiply both sides by cosine theta, that gets rid of the fraction now. So I'll have 0 over here. I'll have a sine theta minus 9 sine theta times cosine theta. Okay, so I have here something which I can work with. I can factorize this and get something because I have equal 0 over here. All right. And we have got theta between 0 and 90. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, okay. So we've got theta between 0 and 90. So now, so I'm just writing that here so we know that um, what our limits are so we can then know how to get the solutions. So now what I see here is um, something that I can factorize. But I'll write it like this so that... But I, I can even write it on this. I can say 9 sine theta, cosine theta, minus sine theta equals 0. It's the same thing. 
I've just added nine sine theta, subtract sine theta from both sides. Now I can see there's a common factor in these two terms of sine theta. It's common in both both of these two terms. Okay. Let me just use another color. All right. So I can take that out as a common factor. I can say this is like saying sine theta times, and then I have nine cosine theta minus one equals zero. Because this, this is equal to zero, I can use what's called the zero product property. When I know that two factors or two, uh, the product of two factors is equal to zero, one of them must be zero. Okay, just like when we solve quadratic equations, that's uh, by factorizing, that's one of that's the property that we use. So we say, okay, if it, if you have two things multiplied together and they give you zero, one of them must be zero. Therefore, we can say either the sine of theta is equal to zero, or nine times cosine theta minus one is equal to zero. All right. So this, if I rearrange it, give us cosine theta is equal to one over nine. So now I can use my limits between 0 and 90 degrees and solve this and find the values of theta for which this is true. So for sine of theta equals 0, we know that inverse sine of 0 is 0. So the first solution is 0, which is one of the solutions. Let's just make sure that I have the equal sign there. It does on both of them. That's fine. Okay, so theta degrees is one solution. And of course, we have to give the angles in degrees because they give the limits in degrees. And the question... It didn't say, but of course, if the limits are given in degrees, we give the answer in degrees. All right, so that's the only place where the sine, th th sine theta is equal to zero in this range. We know that the sine, the sine curve goes like this, up to 90, and then down to 180, then 360. So between zero and 90, which is this region here, it only hits zero at this point. Okay, so that's the only solution from this part. Then we have cosine theta equals one over nine. So theta is equal to inverse cosine, of 1 over 9. All right, so the cosine curve goes like this. Okay, it hits 0 at 90, then it goes down like this to minus 1 at 180. So I can see that the answer is going to be somewhere between 0 and and 90, where it's going to be 1 over 9. It's going to be positive. And that will be the only solution. So we can take our calculator and we can um, put, make sure it's in degree mode inverse cosine of 1 over 9 and that gives us 83.620 uh, 621 sorry theta equals 83.621 degrees now as the question did not state how we round the answer angles and degrees should always be given to one decimal place where appropriate okay when it's not exact here of course you don't have you have to write zero because it's just zero so these are the two solutions zero and 83.6 degrees okay you can write them down here if you want at the end okay you can say theta equals zero and 83.6 degrees there is the answer to this question okay so that's how we solved this question all right so it's using um rearranging simplifying and then changing tan theta into sine theta of a cosine theta and then you know simplifying that and then seeing that we have a zero and we have a, you know, some terms we can factorize and then use the zero product property. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of trig identities and equations from P1 of um, Cambridge. A level can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch the video here, which will help you find questions which are um, or help you find material that is relevant to you in an efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.